Beer Master here. We have a 2018 Chevy Trax. We got Putty over here. I'm going to show you where the fuse box locations are. And the first one is located under the hood. We're going to pop that hood. So under the hood, next to the battery on the driver's side, you'll see this little box here. That is your power center under the hood. There's two of them. And if you look under the lid, you'll see a template that tells you exactly what those fuses are for. Right there. So you have relays and fuses. That's the first one. This just clicks right back on. You just pull this little clip in and it pops right off. That was a real easy one. Some of them are very difficult. Sometimes there's a fuse under here. Let's see. Nothing under there. Now there's an interior fuse box, which is located on the driver's side. And on the left of the steering wheel, it looks like there's a little coin tray here, but it's not a, well, it is a tray or a little box, but if you squeeze this together with your fingers, and pull that out. And you look in there, there is your other fuse box. You can take this, this door right out. We have a napkin stuck, stuck in there. That's not good. And if you look on the inside of the door, there is the template again. You just unclip this door out, lift it up, and pull it back. And it unclips. And there's our template. It's hard to see with this lighting, but it is there. Get a look in there. So you can reach in there. You might need a long plier or needle nose to get that out. And we're going to put this back. It's going to clip in and squeeze it back together and then close it. So there you go. There's the fuse box <clears throat> on this vehicle. This is an 18 Chevy Trax, but it goes for multiple years. And if you liked the video, if it helped you, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. I just wanted to show you one other I just noticed here under the hood. A couple of relays in front of the battery. And there's a little template under there. It tells you what the relays are for. Or you can refer to the owner's manual. A lot of people keep their owner's manual or they lose it. So if you're the original owner, you'll probably have it. If not, you may not have it. So you can always look at the templates underneath and that will help. Or you can always call the dealer. That's it, Joe Beermaster. Thank you for watching.